y'all it's Sierra aka Capricorn Moon Goddess back with another video for you all this is a video for the collective it is a reading so a collective reading so with that said listen responsibly use your own intuition and discernment to determine if the message is for you or if bits and pieces of the message are for you okay um it's up to you to determine what decisions you want to make when it comes to your own life okay now that we got that disclaimer out of the way let's go ahead and get started with the reading okay so we have the judgment card we have the five of wands <sighs> I just did a personal reading for someone that was so positive. So I was like, ooh, let me go ahead and do a reading for the collective while I'm still in this, you know, this positive energy is still around. Maybe we won't have to talk about karmics and people coming for them and this and that. But then here we go with the judgment and the five of wands, okay? This person that has been fighting dirty, okay? Um, this competition that's been out here. So, you guys are going to rise above the competition, okay? I mean, you guys are going to rise above the competition. So, this could even be in the sense of a job, okay? For some of us, it's deeper. And for some of us, it's a little bit lighter. Maybe you were applying for a job and there were a lot of applicants. And you're going to be the top one that they pick, okay? So you're going to rise above the competition with this Knight of Wands here, okay? So you're going to be the victor, okay? Your passion outshines theirs, okay? We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Strength card, okay? So something is going to be happening very quickly. Um, let's see what it is. We got the Magician at the bottom now. So your manifestations are definitely going to start coming in a lot quicker now. You may have been trying to manifest winning something, maybe winning a lawsuit, winning a job position. Um, <laughs> not the three of cups, okay? I hope you ain't out there trying to win a, a man or a woman. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, like I said, this could have been somebody in competition with you. So maybe you weren't out here trying to win this woman or this man, but uh, somebody else was in competition with you and you're going to end up being the person that gets chosen, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords. This is talking about heartache. Oh no, heartache and pain and the Empress. Let's see what else we got. Wow, somebody is very um, sad about your ability to create, your ability to create and manifest. You create and you follow through, okay? So you actually are able to deliver on the things that you say you're going to deliver on. This person may have felt like you were cocky. They may have felt like you were arrogant. They didn't think that you could back up what you were saying and somebody's about to find out that you can back up what you're saying if they want to go toe to toe with you spiritually they really are going to regret that okay we have the magician and the empress and strength all we need is the high priestess or the hierophant i mean that's why I'm feeling like this might be a little bit more mundane than spiritual. For some of you, it may be spiritual, but since we don't have the high priestess or the hierophant yet, this could just be somebody that just competes with you in everyday life about everything, and they're just tired of you winning all the time, okay? We have the Ace of Wands, so some new opportunities are going to be pouring in for you very, very quickly when it comes to entrepreneurial type business things. Um, and when it comes to your creativity as well, you're going to be getting a lot of new ideas as far as how to execute things. We have the sun. Yay. Wow. So we have the sun and the five of swords. Somebody was playing dirty and somebody was cheating. Someone was doing underhanded things to try to beat you at whatever it is they were trying to beat you at. And you're still going to win anyway. So all of that cheating that they did, selling their soul, 
making deals with the devil all of that they did all this stuff and you're still coming out the victor the winner we have the moon okay they were doing things um that they may feel won't come to light but they are going to come to light just how dirty this person plays okay they definitely talk mess all the time they talk about your talk behind your back to disparage your name all the time we have the two of wands but all the while you kept your eye on the ball you kept your eye on the prize you were focused on your future you did not allow them to bring you down this person could be a pisces or you could be a pisces they could be a leo or you could be a leo um we have the four of swords here so yeah you kept yourself focused and you kept yourself grounded but this person really was trying to take you out for real though for real but they didn't know they was messing with a hermit you are a very well learned person very skilled you know yourself very well so therefore when someone went around trying to talk bad about you you stood firm and i know who i am and other people can tell who i am based off of my character so you can try to bring me down and talk bad about me but people are not going to believe you because that's just how strong my character is okay we got the two of cups and the three of pentacles this is letting me know you have some new partnerships coming so like i said some of you could have a new job that's coming new job offers for some of you this is related to entrepreneurship okay and we have the king of pentacles so you definitely have some new opportunities coming in that are going to earn you more money and more financial stability so you're not going to need anyone we have the four of pentacles so you could have been in a situation where you had to lean on somebody financially or you may have needed a favor or two and they really tried to dog you out for helping you or they didn't want to help you or whatever and you may have had to take somebody's attitude because you had to stay humble until you were able to get back on your feet or something like that seven of pentacles you had to be very very patient with what you were recreating with this empress card and all of that patience is about to pay off things are about to start moving a lot quicker for you so people are about to find out that all that stuff you said all that confidence you had in yourself all that positivity all of those affirmations you spoke over yourself while people were saying you were dumb you were stupid to believe in yourself and your religion is stupid your spirituality is stupid they about to see with this ace of swords that you wasn't just talking you were creating with the words the vibration of the words you were creating you create as you speak you have a very very powerful voice and the way that you articulate yourself and word things works very well for you ace of swords is about new opportunities coming in it's also about truth okay you have been out there speaking your truth whether or not people like it okay you have a right to speak your truth and let people know the things you've gone through there's the the devil here so someone was trying to control you they were trying to control the way you speak they were trying to control uh what you talk about okay they could have been a capricorn or you could be a capricorn they wanted to control your destiny with this three of wands and you said absolutely not <laughs> i'm in control of my own destiny even if i gotta start over the fool see you're not afraid to start over like some people are even if i have to start over from scratch rebuild from nothing i'm gonna get to where i want to be and where i need to be okay that confidence that you have bothers people and these people with the hangman and the three of swords wanted to cause delays they wanted to cause delays and issues and problems with you because they can't understand someone that sees things from your perspective they don't understand your perspective they don't understand your enthusiasm and also they have been hurt and they have chosen to hurt other people instead of healing from their pain and turning their pain into power they saw how you were able to turn your pain into power and even into profit with this king of wands okay like i said some of you may have a business or will be starting a business connected to the things that you've gone through in life being able to help other people 
while making a profit at the same time. Some of you are motivational speakers or life coaches or whatever because we have the Ace of Swords, which talks about using your voice. But you are creating a legacy with this Ten of Pentacles. I dropped a card. Hold on. Okay, so you're creating a legacy with this Ten of Pentacles, okay, with the words that you speak, but also financially as well. Page of Wands, you have found your freedom. Somebody is upset about how free you are. You don't just allow people to put you in a box. You're a very authentic and a very hardworking person. So people are jealous about the way things seem to fall into place for you, but they're ignoring the fact that you work hard. You don't, you're not just out here, just things are just falling out the sky. You're putting in the work. You're creating opportunities for yourself. Some of the things that are, people are going to see happening now is going to seem like you were an overnight success or things happen just like that. And it's things you've been working on for years, double digit years. Okay. But they don't have that type of dedication. So they don't understand. Some of them understand perfectly well, but just don't want to give you the credit. <laughs> they don't want to give you the credit for working as hard as you worked, for being as patient as you've been, for being as diligent as you've been. Okay? Because if they acknowledge that, they have to acknowledge that you deserve all the things that are coming to you. There's a lot of good things coming to you. And they don't want to acknowledge that you are worthy of these blessings. They don't want to acknowledge that you deserve them. Because they will have to also acknowledge that they haven't put in the work. They haven't put in the work. They literally have things to say about you. And they haven't put in the work themselves. But they about to see. Not only are they about to see, people are about to see. The public is about to see. So all that talking they were doing about you, making it seem like you're a horrible person, you're lazy, this, that, and the other. You may have fell on some hard times and they wanted to kick you while you were down and try to use that as an example of how you're just this horrible person because look at what this person is dealing with look at what they're going through not realizing you were going through tests you were going through the fire to help you become refined but not only to help strengthen you but so you can see people for who they truly were i always say that i always tell people if you are ever given the opportunity to help me out consider that a blessing <laughs> <laughs> consider that a blessing i am a hyper independent person so when it gets to the point where i have to ask you for help consider that a blessing because you're being given the opportunity to show the divine that you're willing to help out their earth angel aka me okay and you're gonna get even more blessings from that if you handle it right but if you don't handle it right see what happens <laughs> see what happens okay so even if you have gone through tough times everybody does everybody does no one is exempt from that so don't allow people to make you feel bad because you've had certain struggles those struggles are helping to refine you okay we have the consequence of fear contraction the frequency of fear self-fulfilling prophecies so people may have a problem with your confidence and try to instill fear into you because they know that if you remain confident you are going to accomplish everything that you want to accomplish everything that you set out to do you can do it people see your potential a lot of the times before you see your full potential so they know for a fact that you are going to make it those things that seem impossible they know that you are going to make them possible so what they will try to do is instill fear into you we have frozen for a time and we had the hangman earlier so they're wanting to cause some delays but it's not working. We have the Eight of Swords uh, or the Eight of Wands too. Things are going to be happening fast for you no matter what they try to do. We have a way out of the weeds. A clear way out. Multitasking and getting organized. Okay, so you have a way out even if you feel stuck right now. If you feel stuck right now, 
take the time to switch your perspective. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Maybe you need to change your strategy. Maybe you need to meditate. Maybe you need to pray and ask for a clear way out. Don't sit here and try to figure everything out on your own when you got your higher power, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. You have... How do I want to put this? You have guides. I guess I'll say guides. You have guides because everybody calls all these things different things that are willing to help you, but you have to ask for help and you have to connect with them. Okay. So if you feel lost, ask for help. Ask for clear signs. Ask for specific signs if you want to. Whatever it is that you need, ask for it. Talk to your guides. Let them know. I need you to make it plain and clear. Make it plain and clear. What do I do next? I feel lost. I feel stuck. Help me get out of it. We have focus on the brilliance. Focus, attention, prioritizing, and persevering. I feel like you've been doing that. I feel like you know how to block out the noise and focus on the end goal. Okay? So continue to do that and be able to recognize when you're kind of getting distracted so you can pull yourself back in. We have the sovereignty of magic. See, see, people upset because you are magical and you're able to maintain your freedom because you are magical. Even if you feel stuck or get stuck, you can always get yourself out of any tough situation because you are magical. We have synchronicities, miracles, spiritual forces. What? Well, see, this is what I was trying to say. I was looking for the words and I said, guys, you have spiritual forces that are surrounding you that's willing to help you. Okay, do the impossible. People are jealous because they don't know how to tap into that. But you know how to tap into that. Okay, so make sure you are tapping into it. Use those resources, those, those uh, spiritual divine resources that you have. We have the true source of power, divine will, integrity, power versus force. See, people are mad when they when they say power versus force. This reminds me of what I said on Facebook the other day. I said something like fear and respect are two different things. Some people will tell you in the Bible, the fear of God means respect. But no, fear and respect are two different things. Respect is earned. I rather earn people's respect and have them want to help me have them want to be on my side have them want to listen to me then to have to force someone out of fear people are mad because things come naturally people naturally like you you speak well you're a very persuasive speaker without trying you don't be trying to get people to be on your side this and that it's just that when you explain things they make sense you don't have to force people to be on your side. You don't have to force people to like you. You don't have to force people to choose you. People automatically want to follow you in a good way, not in a bad way. This is people recognizing that they can learn from you. You don't have to force knowledge down people's throats, okay? You may be into the spirituality stuff and your family may be very religious, Okay, people thought you were going to be disowned. <laughs> people thought that people were going to think you were evil, that you were crazy. When you start getting into this manifestation, this spirituality, this trusting in your intuition, and they thought you were going to be an outcast. Okay, but it turns out people wanted to learn more from you. You offer people a different perspective. Somebody is jelly. They hot about that right now. Um, begin with faith in spring, beginnings, innocence, fertility, growth. So all you have is growth. All you have is be new beginnings. And with innocence, like I said, people try to talk down on you and make it seem like you're the bad guy. You're going to be proven innocent. Remember we had the judgment card earlier. That was the first card that came out. Okay. You're going to be proven innocent. They're going to be proven guilty. Okay. Just let people self-destruct. Let people tell on themselves. Let people go around town ranting and raving about you all the time. You think people ain't looking at them like they crazy? Like, why are you always talking about this person? Why you always got something bad to say about this person? Why every time we meet up, you talking about this person? When I go look at that person or when I talk to them, they're not talking about you. They're not talking bad about you. Why you always got something to say? And then when I'm looking at this person, I don't see none of the stuff that you're saying. They're going to start to look crazy. You just continue to do you. 
continue to do you, continue to shine, okay? We have a call to transformation, metamorphosis, the in-between. So some of you, like I said, you went through a hard phase recently that you are now getting out of. You don't stay down for long. The dream of co-creation, manifestation, divine partnership, frequency alignment. So some of you are going to be meeting new divine partners. Even, um, so this could be love or friendship, okay? Or business, okay? But people that are basically in alignment with you to help take you to the next level. We all need help sometimes to get to the next level. We can't always do everything by ourselves. So you're getting to the point where you're leaving behind people that wanted to drag you down and keep you down. And you're going to start meeting people that genuinely are happy for you. They want the best for you. They're not jealous. And they are assets and not liabilities. Okay? We have Epiphany Sing at Dawn. Aha moment, awakening new directions and potential. So you're going to have some, you might be like, okay, what do I do next? What do I do next? Keep asking and you shall receive. Make sure you're open to receive because you're about to get a message that's really going to help you figure out what to do next and also how to do it. So not just what to do, but how to do it as well. Make sure you're asking for stuff like, don't just tell me what to do. How should I do this as well? Let me know as much information as possible, okay? Um, we have surrender to the change, the art of allowing, resilience, adaptability. Things may start to get easier for you and you may not be able to accept that, especially if you're a hard worker. You may feel like, I'm not working myself to death right now. Things are not going to be good because I need to work, 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 work. And it's like, no, it's time for you to chill and al allow things to just come to you. And you may be nervous about that. If I'm not constantly doing something, moving, working on something, how can I maintain my stability? If you've been asking for passive income, <laughs> passive income, you're going to have to be comfortable with allowing things to come to you easily. You've been asking to make money in your sleep. Trust that it can happen. If you know you have created ways for that to happen, allow it to happen, okay? I know it's hard sometimes. We want to always be making sure we're doing, doing things. Okay, but sometimes what we need to do is sit down and relax. <laughs> okay, you may have some shadow work to do around that. There could be a, a little bit of a lack mindset that you're still holding on to, um, especially if you have children. This is really hard for parents. We want to have a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, and G because we got kids to take care of. We have other people's lives in our hands. And you telling me to surrender, to change, and sit back and allow things to come to me. And I don't got to do nothing because I prayed and I manifested and my prayers have been answered. No, let me, let me make sure I still have a side hustle or let me make sure I, I get a second job or something just in case. But that is going against what you asked for. You asked for passive income. You asked for things to come easy. You asked to make money in your sleep. Let it happen. Let it happen. Rise to the occasion. It's time to show your spiritual forces, your divine sources, that you trust them to rise to the occasion. You asked you were told, this is for people that have confirmation that what you manifested and asked for is happening, is in motion right now. But you have to trust your higher sources to rise to the occasion. They don't really like it when you don't trust them like that, okay? It's tough. I know. The eyes of mystery, it's tough. Not knowing what's coming next. Mystery, uncharted territory, deep knowing is tough. But hang in there. Hang in there. Because you're going to be example for other people that are going through this. We have open-mindedness, perspective, nuance, complexity, this and that are true. So yeah, you're going to be an example for other people that are going through this. To, to keep an open mind, to keep an open heart. To be able 
and open to receive. You worked so hard. You've worked so hard. And now everything that you worked for is about to start happening. So don't start, you know, backing up now. Don't start doubting yourself now. Don't start being fearful now. That could literally, that literally could make or break whether or not all the stuff you've been manifesting actually comes. And then if it doesn't come, you're going to be like, see, I knew, I knew it shouldn't come. No, you got scared at the last minute and you repelled, you repelled what you were so close to receiving. So don't be a repellent, okay? Be a magnet to attract the things that you want. Fear is a repellent. Um... Not being sure, being unsure is a repellent. You got the garden and the gate. Don't be afraid to step out there and put yourself out there, okay? Door to value. You see what happens when you put yourself out there? Door to value. We have money on this card, but it's not just monetary, okay? But because money is important, you know, we could all use money, right? Put yourself out there. Stay confident. And you're going to find the value. These are sequential. So 30 and 31. 30, put yourself out there. 31, door to value. Okay? We got strategy. So if you aren't sure of the strategy, like I said, ask your higher power. What? Give me a strategy. Let me know how... To make this happen okay we got cornucopia this is the same as abundance give me the strategy to not only gain value and abundance but be able to maintain it as well for generations to come if you're unsure ask for clarity and listen tell me more we have broken heart and contract. So some of you, the reason why you're getting this stuff now is because you've broken out of karmic contracts. It may have been hard for you to leave certain people behind. You may have wanted to take certain people with you to the top, even if they've hurt you before. You understand, you can empathize with them as far as why they may have hurt you, like hurt people hurt people, right? But they're not meant to go with you. So you're gonna have to leave somebody behind okay and that may be causing you some anxiety we got the thinking man and anxiety that may be causing you some anxiety because you may feel like you need these people i would rather deal with them than to just be by myself and have nobody to talk to or no one in my corner nope you don't have to leave people behind no matter how much it hurts because what? We got envy. They're envious of you and they're always going to be in the background trying to sabotage you. I just got a picture of the bodyguard with Winnie Houston. How her sister was trying to sabotage her the whole time. Was trying to take her out. Not just sabotage. She was trying to delete her existence. Okay? You can't take those family members with you all the time. No, no, no. And we've got the, the uh, throat chakra here. Fifth fifth uh, chakra archangel gabriel the messenger angel so maybe reach out to gabriel but also this is about your ability to speak people in your life family friends whatever some of them don't like your ability to speak or they don't like that you're telling the truth okay they don't like that you're speaking truth because it may it may shine light on you know how they play the villain role in your life. We got woman holding a heart and door to personal healing and happiness. Yes, you may want to show compassion to others and bring others along with you, but you're going to have to focus on yourself right now. Okay, this is a warning, storm warning. Focus on your own personal healing and happiness right now. You don't have time to be trying to drag other people. These people, you got to drag them along with you? No, uh-uh. People should want to want better for themselves. You shouldn't have to drag them. No. You have blossoming abundance. We have blossoming abundance here. 
So we've got blossoming abundance and financial constraints. It's like choose one. You want to try to drag people with you, envious, jealous people with you that are always going to be working against you and they're going to cost you way more than you gain? Or do you want to go with focusing on your own personal healing and happiness and choose the door to blossoming abundance? You get to pick. Are you going to keep these people attached to you? We have attachments. Or are you going to let them go? We got the, um, is this the crown? Crown chakra, yeah. They want to block your intuition. They don't want you to be able to figure out what they're doing behind the scenes. But you're going to find a new community with this heart chakra card. And the angel on here is Raphael. So Raphael, Raphael is the angel of healing. So you're going to find a new community that's way more focused on healing each other and doing well for each other than trying to bring each other down. Okay, it's going to be very healing to you. Um, sacral chakra here, angel Ariel. So yeah, you're going to be stable and just fine. Even though you may feel lonely, you may feel like, well, dang, it's not just one person I got to cut off. I got to cut off my whole family. I got to cut off my whole friend group. I'm, I'm going to be by myself. They can be replaced. You may not feel like it, but they can be replaced. You want to give up your happiness, your stability, your abundance, your prosperity, your wish fulfillment. To take a chance on people that have showed you over and over again that they don't mean you well. Or do you want to just risk being alone for now? For now. Because, like I said, they can be replaced. <laughs> what did I say? I said they can be replaced. And we got a card that says regeneration, which is what? Replacement. Okay? It says lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Like, I really could just end this here. But let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Because <sighs> I'm done at this point. I'm done. Okay, so we got Eagle Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Remember I said spiritual forces are guiding you. Your wisdom inspires the world. People were mad because you're inspirational. They thought people were going to outcast you. And instead, people are inspired by you and they want to learn from you. They don't care what this hater is talking about, okay? They listening to what to them talk and they listening to you talk and you speak inspiration. You speak life into people. When this person that's hating on you talks, they just try to tear you down all the time and think people ain't going to notice. Come on now. People, people are picking it up. Okay. People may not be saying nothing, but they're picking it up. Like, yeah, this person seemed like a hater. Mm hmm. Yeah. We got Ladybug. Good luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving, colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. Remember when I said people should be happy when they have to help me, okay? Because I'm such a blessing to the world that you're definitely going to be blessed if you got to help me. Be glad if I need your help, okay? That, that's your good luck right there if I need your help. I am not joking. That might sound cocky and conceited or whatever, but you know what I mean because you got the same situation going on. You know that you bless other people. You know that it, you give people hope and inspiration. This is why you were chosen to be the person in the family to have the generational wealth because you are going to do right by it. Those other people in your family, they will squander it away. They would be childish. They would be selfish. They would not try to help the family and the community you would <laughs> we got elephant at the bottom greatness greatness you represent greatness 
Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. It's your path. People want to be mad at you because you're a natural born leader and because people listen to you. Oh, you're always convincing people to be against me. And you're always, you think you know everything and blah, blah, blah. Leadership is your path. This was ordained, okay? This is, this is something you couldn't run away from if you tried. Somebody trying to take your spot and they not trying to stay in their lane. That's their problem, not yours. You don't have to dim your light to make that person feel better. They should be working on what's for them and stop trying to come after what's for you. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success, okay? So I'm going to end it there on a good note. Okay, so thanks for taking the time to watch. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on TikTok, please like the video and follow me. If you are not following me, I will try to post videos daily. I'm trying to get better at that, okay? Um, I hope y'all have a great day. Toodles!